the Fort Warwick Chase will close the day's racing. It's at Chattersley Corbett again, or Chattersley Corbett. Two miles, seven furlongs, and a few yards. Give or take three miles, isn't it? Just a bit. And the thinkers at the top four, Martin Leadham, Harry's your man, Stu Gray, Rab Corbett, Alex Cherry, Oil Baron, Graham Clutterbuck, Seagrave, Darren Thompson, LOLA Lola, Padre Hogan has also got Stormcrow, Maximum Mayhem, Alex Cherry, Arrow Field for Stu Gray, and Ice Pearls for OB1. So a decent sized field of 10 for this one then, the final race of the week. And away we go. Next time we're racing, it'll be at Cheltenham for the festival. And they get over the first. And it's Ice Pearls for Obi Wan who's gone off into the lead from Seagrave in second. So rare to see one of the real top trainers in these hunter chases. Well, we've got one in this one, so it must be one of his lower lights. It's Ice Pearls who's in front from Harry's your man and Arrow Field, the two Stu Grey horses closest to us, the two Alex Cherry horses right over on the far side. And next, that's Rab Corbett and Maximum Mayhem. towards the back, LOLA Lola is the one that's just struggling at the back so I don't know if Padre Hogan's horses don't like Chattersley Corbett but in the last race, Thistle Dan Davinda was detached from most of the way L -L -L oh, I'm going to get that right, I mean LOLA Lola he's normally a pretty decent sort of horse, this might be in these hunter chases, normally in and amongst the pack so we often tailed off as he is at the moment well, six lengths of drift anyway, as they get to the fourth, a bit of a mistake there by Arrow Fields, but Ice Pearls is setting the pace to Rab Corby on the inside, or I suppose would be, a, be an appropriate winner, but Chattersley Corbett, although I, every time I look up at that graphic on the top corner, I go to call it Rapsy Nesbit, but they get over the next, and they're all safely over it, with Ice Pearls in the lead. From Harry's your man second, who remember is nothing to do with Harry Maguire, then Storm Crow and the Thinker, Barren after that one, and then Seagrave, Maximum Mayhem, and a bit of a gap then to Arrow Field and LO LA Lola. Nice well, pearls then. Obi one front runner, an Obi one front runner in every single one of these hunter chases today. Unfortunately for him, he hasn't had one that's managed to stay there at the end though. As they get to the eighth, maybe this one could be the one. Nice pearls in the lead. Harry's your man second. I think a third. Then Rap Corbett and Storm Crow. Then Seagrave and Maximum Mayhem. We'll barrel on that one's outside. Then Arrowfield tucked in behind them. And finally, LOLA Lola is the back marker. But they're well strung out. And Ice Pearls is the leader. As they take the turn into the straight, it's next time that counts. Ice Pearls gets over that one in the lead. Oh, and the Thinker's gone. So the Thinker got rid of the jockey there. Obviously thought about it too much and sent him out the side door. So the top weight won't be taking this one. And Ice Pearls is the leader. From Harry's your man second. And Rab Corbett third. And a gap then back to Seagrave. Stormcrow made a really bad mistake at that one. Maximum Mayhem going past him as well. Then all Baron and Arrow Field. And finally, LOLA Lola is now pretty much in touch with the rest of them as they get over the 12th. All safely over the 12th. Ice Pills and Harry's your man. Past the winning post, then circuit to go. Ice Pills will want to be there next time round. Harry's your man is in second. Rab Corbett is third. Seagrave is fourth. Storm Crow is fifth. And then after that one comes Maximum Mayhem. And then Oil Baron and Arrowfield. And finally, LO LA Lola. So they're racing down towards the final mile. In the final race of the week and over that one it's Harry's your man who's landed in front suddenly Ice Pearls has started to defrost and has gone back into fourth then comes Seagrave and Rab Corbett Maximum Mayhem Storm Crow Arrow Field Oil Baron LOLA Lola still got a lot of work to do but Harry's your man is in front Seagrave pulls behind in second as they get over that ditch and it's Harry's your man in front from Seagrave in second Rab Corbett is third Ice Pearls is still there in fourth then comes Storm Crow Maximum Mayhem Oil Baron and Arrow Field and LOLA Lola is out of it and tailed off they're over that one now and they've got six more furlongs to go and it's Seagrave and Harry's your man from Rab Corbett Ice Pearls is getting back into it on the inside maybe he was just giving that one a little bit of a breather 
and these four are still well clear of Stormcrow, who's in fifth but trying to run on. They're Maximum May and they're over the 16th, and it's Seagrave who's gone into the lead. Seagrave on the outside is just in the lead over the 17th from Ice Pearls in second. Then comes Harry Germain. Then Rab Corbett. Stormcrow is running on really nicely. So too is Maximum Mayhem as they swing round towards the next one. And it's Seagrave in front. Ice Pearls in second. Over that one they go. Seagrave landed in front. Seagrave's in front from Ice Pearls. Maximum Mayhem though is going really well as they start to make the turn for home. It's Seagrave in the lead. Seagrave is too clear of Maximum Mayhem in second. Ice Pearls back in third. Then Stormcrow in fourth, but Seagrave over that one clear from Maximum Mayhem. Ice Pearls made a mistake. Stormcrow is still trying to run on, but they're racing down towards the final two fences. And it's Seagrave in the lead. Maximum Mayhem is getting closer in second. It's between these shortly over the second last they go. Seagrave's in front. Maximum Mayhem is in second. And it's Seagrave in the lead coming down towards the final fence. Darren Thompson's been caught on the run in so many times today that surely this time they can't catch him. And over the final fence they go. And Seagrave is going to take it. And last, Darren Thompson gets one past the post in front. Darren Thompson takes it to Seagrave. Maximum Mayhem just second. Oil Baron, then Storm Crow and Rob Corbett. Harry Germain and Ice Pills faded away. Hello, LA Lola, not on a going day today. And Darren Thompson, who'd been pipped in all those Group 1s, been getting caught on the run. And it might not be much of a consolation taking a point to point at Chattersley Corbett, but they all count in the winner's box and will keep him in fourth place in the National Hunt trainers list, I think. And Seagrove takes it for Darren Thompson. Oil Baron second for Graham Clutterbuck. Maximum Mayhem, Alex Cherry third. Stormcrow, Padraig Hogan fourth. Rap Corbett for Alex Cherry was fifth. And uh, that's week number... Is it number nine in the book? Yes, it is indeed. Week number nine in the book. And next week we'll all reconvene at Cheltenham for the biggest week of the season. <laughs>